This may look like a straight line, but it is actually a trading indicator which produces high quality buy and sell signals. And once you apply its optimized setting, you can also eliminate some of the false signals when you see the market is sideways. Coming to the setup, so this is how it is gonna work. Uh, we're gonna wait for inner and outer indicator to produce the signals and only then we're gonna be entering into a trade. We can either target next opposite signals or just go for one to two ratio. I mean, either way is fine. It all depends on your risk management plus your back testing to figure out which method suits you. For this strategy to work, we are going to be using five minutes chart. So make sure you on the five minutes chart and then we're gonna be using a line chart instead of candlesticks. You can also change the line color if you want. By double clicking on the line chart, you can find an option to change the color. It's up to you. I'm using purple color for the price line. You can pick whatever the color you want. Next on trading view, go to indicators tab and add high energy candles by Cyberox. So what we do with Haikanashi is smooth out our signal. We are not going to be using Haikanashi candles on its own because they do not demonstrate the actual price. So if I highlight these two candles and switch back to line chart, you will notice that one of the price candle is coming out as green. And we don't want to use that as a signal to enter. So I'm gonna switch back to line chart. Now go to the settings of Haikanashi bars and change the bar colors. I'm going to be using blue color for long and black for the short candles, just for the easy chart reading. Now we need to add the important indicator. So go to indicators tab and search super trend and add this one twice. So by default, it is producing buy and sell signals. We're not going to use them as it is. So go to the settings of first super trend indicator. Under the input tab, change the ATR period to 22 and the ATR multiply to 1.1 and then hit OK. After that, go to the settings of second super trend indicator. And this time you're gonna have to change the ATR to 14 and ATR multiply is going to be two and then hit OK. So I'm gonna show you how to enter a trade. Over here we have two buy signals and at the top we have two sell signals. So for a valid signal, both inner and outer indicator should produce the same signal. Otherwise the entry is invalid. As you can see, high Kanashi candle is also black, which is a confirmation for sell. And for the buy signal, the high Kanashi should be blue. So to enter the trade, we're gonna use purple price line and put the stop loss above the recent swing high. And we're gonna target one to two ratio. The second most important thing is at the time of entry, your stop loss shouldn't be more than six pips or it should be close to six pips. Now I'm gonna be entering long here. As you can see, both inner and outer indicators have produced the buy signals. And our entry point will always be the outer signal. So these single buy and sell signals are invalid. Therefore, we're gonna ignore them. I will show you some more important examples. Over here, we have many false signals which are eliminated as the auto indicator is not producing any signal. However, we have this buy entry, but it is also invalid because the stop loss is more than seven pips. Moving on, here the price is in the range. If you pay attention to the both outer and inner indicator lines, they are overlapped, which means there is no momentum. So the price need to break out for us to catch a valid entry. Moving on, here we have this sell signal. Also the stop loss is looking less than six pips. Plus the Hakanashi bars are black, so we can enter this trade. Plus this time if you want, you can also target the next opposite signal as a take profit to maximize your gain. Or you can stick to one to two ratio. The next buy entry is looking very clean, but we have to make sure the stop loss is less than six pips. And let's target one to two ratio. Before you use this strategy, make sure you backtest on a particular pair and only then go for the live trade. 